Hello everyone, Minecraft Java Edition 1.20.5 is now out. In this update, it's going to contain wolf armor, wolf variants, armadillos, and armadillo scoots. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So as I already said, the armadillo is here. And as you can see, it's just this little cute guy. He's a passive mob. He doesn't do a whole lot, except when you're brushing him. So you're going to take a handy little brush here, and you're just going to brush him a little bit. And in this case, because I'm in creative mode, it's just going to keep giving me a ton. So the armadillo, it does spawn here in the Badlands, like where I'm at right now. But it also spawns in the savanna, which I I actually don't have a savanna to go show you. But there, it does spawn somewhere in the savanna. And if you're, you know, trying to farm some of these guys, all you got to get is a spider eye. For those of you who have a, a spider farm or anything like that, this is now really good for you because you now have a very handy use you can make yourself some pet armadillos and just look at these little guys absolutely cute creatures a couple of other things to note about these guys is that they might look like they're you know pretty defenseless all things considered but if i if i hit one here you can see that it rolls up into a little ball making them a lot more defensible but also around undead mobs here you can see that they'll even react to undead mobs and roll up into little balls while they're around. Even the little guys. One more thing to note here is both spider variants will run away from armadillos and fear. And this is just because of the spider eyes. The armadillos eat spider eyes, so they scare away spiders. This is actually a really neat little feature, and I think there's going to be probably some people that use this in interesting farms. If you make a general purpose mob farm, you can actually sort out a lot of different creatures now. Such as skeletons, who will run away from wolves, spiders, who will run away from armadillos, creepers, who will run away from cats, and zombies, who will run towards villagers. If you can sort this properly, you can actually do a mob sorter now, which will hopefully allow for some people to do some really neat little things. Remember these armadillo scoots that I was talking about? It's time for us to finally talk about it. So you can craft wolf armor with scoots. All you gotta do is a little helmet shape here on the bottom and then just add one in the top right and you got yourself some wolf armor. Cool little thing to note here as well about the armadillo before we move on is that if we get a dispenser, so if you stick a brush in a dispenser and then quickly press a button, for example, you can brush the scoots off of them. So you can also auto farm scoots if you so desire. It's not necessarily something you might think about needing to do, but it is an option. Especially if you combine this with auto crafting functionality a little later down the road. Alright, let's talk about wolves now. We'll get into the wolf armor here in a little bit, but I want to first talk about the wolf variants. I'm going to try to spawn them in with commands here if I can figure it out, but if I can't, then we'll just go to each individual place and check them out there. If you're curious how to summon a wolf using commands with whatever variant you want in whatever biome you want, do slash summon minecraft wolf, your coordinates, curly brackets, variant, colon, and then the type. So in this case, pale gives you the classic wolf type. This is the one that everybody knows and loves. It's cute, cuddly, and it's it's going to be found in the taiga biomes. You'll, you'll see these guys probably still a fair amount. Taiga biomes are very common. Another wolf type that you'll see a lot, and this is going to actually be the most common, is the woods wolf. And this one's going to spawn in the forests, as you can see here. He's a pretty cute little guy. Very, very nice to have in the game. Very refreshing to actually see more than one type of wolf in the game. But we're going to go ahead and keep moving on because there's plenty of wolves to talk about, and I still have a lot more that we need to go over. So here is our Ashen Wolf. This is going to spawn in the snowy taiga biome. As you can see, he's kind of got like the subtle blue-gray coat on him. Very cute overall. Happy to see this guy in the game. Again, we're going to keep moving though because there's just so many to talk about. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the Black Wolf. And this wolf is going to be found in the Old Growth Pine taiga biome. And as you can see, it's exactly as it sounds. Just a nice little dog here. I'm just happy to see all these variants, dude. I, I'm, I'm glad to see them finally making their way into the game. 
We got the Chestnut Wolf, which is another great one. Chestnut Wolf will spawn in the Old Growth Spruce Taiga Biome. So here's the Chestnut Wolf. Fairly nice, as you can see. Not a whole lot to look at. Very similar in terms of coat color to this guy, except he's a little bit brighter than the Woods Wolf. So as you can see, very nice. We also have the personal favorite of mine, which is the Rusty Wolf. And as you can see, here he is. He's kind of got that fox coat color. It's very nice, kind of an orange-brown. Very much a fan of that one. We've got the Spotted Wolf, which is going to spawn in the Savannah Plateau biome. And as you can see, this is what he looks like. Very nice overall, again, good colors. And then we have the Striped Wolf, which should spawn in the Wooded Badlands biome, which he's going to look like this. We're going to talk about the last wolf here, and this is a lone wolf. It's rare, it always walks alone, and it is the snowy wolf. This one will spawn in the grove biome, and as you can see, very... Oh, get, get back. Very, very cute dog. Again, very excited to see all these wolves make it into the game. Now that we've talked about that, though, I want to show you guys this wolf armor. So we're just going to go ahead and suit some of these guys up after I tame them. Anyway, we're going to get back to the wolf armor. Okay, you can't armor baby wolves, but you can armor all the adults, as you can see. They, this is the default style for the wolf armor, but you can put dye on the armor as well. So on top of all the variants that you can have, you can still dye their color like so, and you can also give them armor that is customized. So as you can tell, there is quite a lot of ways to have a unique dog in this game. Not only can you just, you know, combine the wolf armor here, but you can also combine color of wolf armor. So as you can see, I've got a blue one here and I've got a red one. What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to take this red one and I'm going to add some more blue to it. And it'll give it a completely different color code and this should make some purple. So as you can see, it's a different kind of shade of purple than what we're used to in the game. This is because you can actually combine several different color codes worth until you get a wolf armor that you like. There's some new advancements here. So there's one called Isn't It Scoot? Which is to just get armadillo scoots from an armadillo while using a brush. We got one called Sheer Brilliance. And this one is gotten by just removing the armor off of a wolf. And as you can see, it does give it to you right back the same way it was. There's one called Good as New, which is to just repair damaged wolf armor using armadillo scoots, which by the way, I didn't go over that, but if your wolf does get hurt in battle, let's say you accidentally hit him a bunch. So as you can see, my wolf here is a little bit hurt. We're going to go ahead and try to help him here, and we're just going to repair his armor by clicking on him with the scoot. And as you can see, it gives us the achievement Good as New. Then there's also one more achievement here, which is Tame One of Each Wolf Variant. As you can see, it gives you a whole challenge, tame one of each wolf variant. Gives you the whole pack achievement. Very nice. Glad to see it. Gives you more things to go do in your Minecraft world. By the way, if any of you are ever bored in Minecraft, one, join my viewer joinable SMP. Join the Discord linked in the description. It'll give you all the information. But also, do some advancements. These are a lot of fun to go hunt down. And just do a few at a time. You never know what you might stumble upon. It makes you go adventure. You might find a new cool place that you want to build something in. Who knows? Go try to do some advancements, though. They've also done some technical changes here, and this one's the biggest and most important one. The spawn chunks are a lot smaller now, which basically just means that your computer is going to run a lot faster, your server is going to run a lot faster, and it's loading in a lot less all the time. One thing to note, though, is if you have anything built in the spawn chunks currently, it might not be in the current spawn chunks. There is a way you can fix this, though. The spawn chunks is now a variable, so if you do slash game rule, spawn chunk radius, you can set your chunk radius that you want. So if you only want it to be one, it's only one chunk. If you want it to be zero, it's zero. It's never loaded in. So again, if you are using your spawn chunks in your world right now, and you aren't sure where it needs to be, you can kind of play around with this. The original default, if you want to play around with that still, it's 10. The new default is 2. 
If you don't want spawn chunks at all and make your world load a lot faster, set it to zero. They've also updated wolves to have more health and do more damage, so tame wolves now have 40 health points, which is 20 hearts, instead of 20 health points, 10 hearts. So they've had a double health increase, they've been given armor now, and they no longer take half the damage of, from most environmental sources like they used to. So now when they like fall into lava, it's no longer half damage in that case. So they doubled the health, which is good for some things. So like if a mob or a player is hitting it, it's actually going to be able to take more hits from that. It's no change though if it falls into lava. So don't worry about it. It's not actually a debuff in that scenario. You're actually better off with the wolves as they are now. One other important little thing to note is... I kind of forgot to mention this. Wolf armor negates all damage. So as you can see, his tail isn't going down. And I can just keep hitting him over and over and over until his armor finally breaks, which we should soon. Okay, so I've hit him a little bit. His tail is down as you can see. He's not following me. If I feed him steak, it now heals him double what it used to. So healing wolves is now a lot more viable. It's not something you have to keep up with nearly as much. Just stockpile some rotten flesh and you're all set to go. There's unique sounds for cobwebs, which we'll go ahead and just quickly listen to right now. Another brief little change here that I want to mention is they have improved copper performance. This will affect your redstone contraptions a little bit, so we're going to go and talk about that really fast. So, hoppers will no longer try to pick up item entities if there is a full block placed above it. So, for example here, if I have a hopper and I have a terracotta here, and I do this, it's no longer going to try to pick up any items that might be inside of this block. It used to be that you had to put a container on top of it to help it stop looking for items above it because it was going to be more laggy. They've now changed this so that you can just place any full block above it and it'll keep it nice and optimized. As always, there's a whole slew of technical changes here that I could get into, but... I think it's going to be best that you guys go look at that yourself. It's in linked in the description. There's a Minecraft.net article. Go check that out. It has all the changes in there. One thing I did want to mention really quick is there was around 210 bug fixes fixed in this update. Pretty big amount. I'm not going to list any of them here. They're not even listed in the article. I think there's a link that you can go to find the bugs to see if yours was fixed. But I think just play the game, report bugs if you find any, and most importantly, I want to say a quick thank you to you guys for watching. Much appreciated. Also, before I go, there's been rumors of a new cape. It's got a creeper face on it. It looks really, really cool. I'll cover that as soon as it's officially announced, if it does get announced. It might just be a rumor and it's not true. Who knows? Anyway, I just want to say again, thank you guys for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like this content. I try to cover all the Minecraft news that I can. And I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.